Welcome back to another how-to tutorial brought to you by Team Terramind. In today's video, we will cover how to defend against data loss, breaches, and exfiltration of company data using Terramind. A typical strategy for defending against data loss targets three key areas, while the data is in use, in motion, and at rest. Terramind's data loss prevention solution goes beyond this traditional approach by adding intelligent behavior analysis to identify human factors like malicious intent, errors or accidents allowing you to implement an effective plan for protection against data breaches and other exfiltration attempts. Terramind's DLP offering uses a simple three-step process to protect against data and IP leakage. Step 1. Classify what you consider to be sensitive data. Terramind comes packed with predefined classified data for financial, health, and personally identifiable information. With Terramind, you can also create your own custom classification lists. Step 2. Define triggers for behavior policies. Simply define various types of triggers and Terramind can both alert and enforce policy violations across user schedule, user activity, and content you deem sensitive. Terramind comes ready with a library of more than 200 templated policies for your convenience. Step 3. Prevent, record, and inform. Terramind allows you to define the type of automated action taken, which can include alerting an administrator, warning the user, blocking the action from being executed in real time, and even going as far as locking the user out of their endpoint. From there, Terramind will provide you with a recorded video playback of any user action, allowing for full visibility on what may have transpired during that session. And finally, you can educate both users and administrators with custom alert messages, reducing the overall probability of repeated actions. This simple animation will demonstrate how Terramind's DLP solution works. Sensitive data is protected by classification and content rules. User activity is monitored by behavior rules. External interfaces like the cloud or internet and vendor communication is regulated by the network and third-party access rules. In a day-to-day -day operation, users are free to complete tasks without interference. Information flows as usual and Terramind's behavioral engine transparently monitors everything that is happening with your data, your users, or the network in real time. Its intelligent algorithm constantly evaluates all activity for suspicious behavior, internal or external breach attempts, and possible exfiltration events. As soon as an anomaly is detected by the behavioral engine, it quickly scans for any rule violations. From there, it will assess the severity of the risk cause, and depending on the risk profile of the user or the event, it can take automated action to warn the user, block their access to sensitive data, rescind network privileges, or even lock the user out of their endpoint, ultimately ensuring no harm is caused to your data security. It can then send a notification to an administrator and record the user session during the time of the flagged event for forensic analysis or serve as evidence. To simplify the data classification process, Terramind comes with some predefined lists and categories you can use when defining any content-based policies. For example, financial data like credit card numbers, health-related data like common drug names or DNA profiles, and personally identifiable data like date of birth or social security numbers. In this example, we will use the predefined classified data list out of which we chose the financial data category. For the data itself, we have selected all credit card numbers. This rule will block the sharing of credit card numbers on any outgoing emails, instant messengers, or copy-paste operations on unauthorized websites. You can also create your own classification list and share it across any content rules you wish to implement. Simply go to Configure and then select Shared List. You can create three types of lists. Text for simple keywords, regular expression for pattern matches like credit card numbers, and networking for things like IP addresses. Let's create one for blacklisted IP addresses. You can add items individually or you can use a text or CSV file to import bulk items. Let's go ahead and import a file. Once you've created the list, you can use it like any other predefined list within the content-based rules. Here we have quickly set up a rule to prevent file sharing over the blacklisted IP list we just created. This is going to be a content-based rule, as is the case with most DLP-related policies. For types of content, we will select Files, and under Select what makes this data sensitive, let's go with File Origin. For Match Type, we will select Matches List Member, and then select the blacklisted IP list we created earlier. For automated action, we will select block with a message, and we're all set for this policy. 
You can access the rules page by clicking Behavior and then selecting Policies. While data classification helps you define what you consider to be sensitive data for your organization, defining policies allows you to direct a Terramind agent on how that sensitive data should be handled by your workforce. Terramind comes ready with a library of templated policies you can use right out of the box. When creating a new policy, feel free to start with any of the available templates and tweak them to your liking. Just pick a template and the rule editor will be automatically populated with course settings and sample data you can customize for your needs. Let's walk through some examples of policies you can use to prevent data theft and breaches. In this first example, we will define a policy that will prevent copying of customer data outside your CRM. This will be a content-based policy with the object being monitored as the clipboard. On the Content tab for what makes this data sensitive, we have selected Clipboard Origin to capture any copy-paste activity. We will then select Website. And for Data Match, we have entered the URL that corresponds with the CRM in question. For the Clipboard tab, we created a conditional exception and supplied the same CRM URL. This will allow copy-pasting as long as the user is inside the CRM environment. Without this exception, they won't be able to use the copy-paste operation at all. For Actions, we have selected Block with a warning message. However, we will allow a manager to override the block should they choose to do so. And that should do it. Whenever a user tries to copy data from the CRM and paste it on a different site, they will see something like this on their screen and the paste operation will be automatically blocked. In this second example, we will block the sharing of any corporate document that contains a confidential watermark. Types of content, we will select both files and emails. For the content classification, we will select file properties. Field type string, field name watermark containing the value confidential. For files, we have two conditions to cover file operations on both a network and external drives. For emails, we will scan for outgoing only. Finally, for actions, we have selected block under the advanced mode. We also chose to define this as a high risk event. We are now ready to save and launch the policy. In this example, we've set up a content sharing rule to block a group of users to data they unlikely need to access. For content type, we have selected files. For users, we have selected a department that will tag the policy to every user associated with that department. For content, we have set up two definitions, one to detect for credit card numbers and another to detect magnetic data associated with the card. For files, we have selected the access condition. Alternatively, you can create a similar condition to block access to entire folders as opposed to just individual files. For actions, we have set up a notification to an administrator and a block operation. This is just the tip of the iceberg. As you can see, you can use Terramind's flexible rule editor to craft rules for any scenario based on user schedule, activity, and content sharing. Terramind features a broad set of actions for any rule violation, ranging from mere alerts and warnings to blocking actions while locking out the user from their device. In addition, Terramind allows administrators to set thresholds to reduce false positives and or only take action for repeated violations. You can access a detailed list of any rule violations from the alerts report. You can view a recording of the user's desktop by clicking the small camera icon near the date and time to launch the session playback functionality. We can see all the warnings they received during this session by clicking the alert icon. From the list of alerts, you can click on one to go to the exact time the user saw the warning. Here we can see Eleanor sent a warning message on her screen when she visited a site that contains gambling-related keywords, thus potentially breaking the not allowed to visit gambling sites rule. From here, you can take a screenshot of the desktop or export the video if needed. As you can see with Terramind's behavior-based policy and rule editor, you can set up actions like block, notify, or warn for any rule violation incident. You can customize any alert messages to educate and inform your users or admins. And finally, you'll have access to full forensics data with session recording and playback functionality. Well, that's all the time we have for today's video. Click the subscribe button below to check out our other tutorials on the Terramind YouTube channel.